Okay, so it's functioning. It says here that the AC voltage is 229 volts AC. Good afternoon everyone, oh my hapon sa tanan. So for today's video, we're going to unbox something that we purchased online. And I'm really excited for this one because we'll be unboxing uh, <clears throat> some kind of a tool that can be useful in our uh, DIY projects. So today the package has already arrived and this is the one that I've been waiting for. I don't know if I'm really excited or scared. So this is why. This is just a one dollar forty-nine peso clamp meter, bolt meter, digital meter, or something. So let's open this one. So this is the package. out of the package this comes in a bag okay I wasn't really expecting this one let's open the bag whoa so this is the one this is the NJTY a clamp meter so being a clamp meter, this one measures both uh, also current, AC and DC. So let's take a look. I don't know if this has a battery installed. Okay. So no battery at all, so I guess we need battery for this one. So as we go through the uh, the settings for this one, this one is off. Then NCB. I don't know what NCB means. Then this one's the current voltage uh, voltage AC and voltage DC ohmmeter and a diode tester so we'll check on the battery first and test this one oh by the way it has a battery <laughs> and these are the probes and a little manual so maybe we'll check later okay so there are instructions which are in English so it's good let's install the battery first Okay, so battery installed. Let's turn this thing on. Hopefully, it will turn on. Okay. Good, it's turned on. <laughs> so, this one is the ampere, uh, ampere rating. Don't know. Okay, this one is the AC voltage. The DC voltage, the ohmmeter, and 
the diode tester so in diode testing can also be used as a continuity test by uh, pressing on this function here so imagine this is only a one dollar clamp meter <laughs> so let's try to test this one okay so let's install the probe so it just doesn't have a backlight for you to see clearly the display what does the NCB okay so current so current so we're testing on the AC voltage here So to test the AC voltage, we have here an AC outlet here. So let's check. Okay, so it's functioning. It says here that the AC voltage is 229 volts AC. So here is the probe connecting to the wall outlet. Here. So by the way, to, to check whether this is really valid or not, I have here uh, ever reliable uh, fluke tester so that we can compare the readings if they are the same or not okay so let's turn on the tester here fluke tester and insert the probe again Okay, on the fluke tester, it says here it's 229.3, so it's almost the same reading as this one. Quite an amazing $1 tester. So, at 229.3.4, so let's check that again. Let's put this on, on hold right there. So it's 229.5 Then testing this one again Okay, it says here it's 229 still but it doesn't have the decimal point up to the last two digits so maybe it's because of a small display here but it's okay let's hold it here so the whole functionality displays the final reading after you disconnect the probes okay so it's 229 nice for a one dollar tester i'm really laughing at this one okay so it's for me it's okay so the next thing to do for the purpose of this one is let's check if the ammeter uh, clamp meter functions well so for being a clamp meter it should have probes in here so we can see here 
also on the other side which act as a clamp so in order to test this one let's look for something that we can test on So to test for the <laughs> ampere rating for this one, I don't have a line here that's a single line so I just uh, use this one, the power adapter for the Wi-Fi which is the router right there. So I just divide the cable to two so that I can use or test the clamp here. So a very small tool, just almost the size of my hand. So we'll test for the ampere. So even though it's uh, AC output, then this one is DC. It says that it can also measure the DC current uh, rating, ampere rating. So let's try this one. So now it's at zero ampere. So we'll test this one now. So cable is now in the loop and it's now registering at 0 0.002 amperes. So this is in idle mode of the router. So let's hold it now. Okay. So it's at zero zero point zero zero two amperes. So, so it's at a uh, two milliamp uh, current reading. <laughs> so for this one, we have a. Uh, 2 milliamp reading for the current current uh, meter for the functionality so it's quite okay so this will be very useful for our future projects and some DIYs uh, afterwards so comparing it to the fluke uh, this one's price range is it was purchased a long time ago but then this one only cost one dollar uh, exactly 49 pesos from Shopee so hopefully it will last uh, again for a few years to for it to be useful okay so that's it so hopefully this would last for a long time so even though it wouldn't last for a long time and I am quite happy for this purchase so maybe in the later projects we can use this one for testing a one dollar clamp meter okay so see you on the next one thank you